Hello, today I will guide you through using the material management feature of 5D Plus Library. First, select the Material tab. Let's try creating a new folder on the desktop. We'll open it to make sure it's an empty folder. Okay, next go to the Active Materials section, where all the materials currently being used in this SketchUp model are displayed. Select all and try renaming them in bulk with the prefix A. As you can see, all the materials were instantly renamed. Now, I will click on a thumbnail to add some materials from the library into the model. The material tray has recognized the newly added materials and so has the active materials section of 5D Plus Library. I will now try saving all the selected materials to an external folder. As you can see, 23 materials have been saved in the SKSKM file format. Let's check the folder. Oh, they've appeared here. Now let's delete them to test the bulk delete feature. Please note that in 5D Plus Library, the delete function is only enabled when the show details mode is activated. This is to minimize accidental deletion of assets. Now we will try extracting images from these materials. Only six textures were extracted from the 23 selected materials. Why is that? because only SketchUp materials containing textures can be extracted into images. The remaining materials are created using solid colors. Let's open the folder to check. Oh, here are the six images that were extracted. Next, I will move on to the tutorial on managing online library sources. Click the online button and then add a new source. You can freely enter the name and URL that you want to add. Follow my example steps closely. The online library sources you've added will be saved as bookmarks. You can sort, rename, or remove them as you like. Please note that websites will be displayed in 5D Plus Library as embedded content for reference purposes and may not function as fully as when browsing through a standard web browser. Thank you, and see you in the next videos.